What's going on everybody? Uh, it's been a little while since I posted a uh, video about my gaming setup and everything. I know a lot of people have been asking, hey, when are you going to post a new video? When are you going to show us your new TV? When are you going to get a PS3? Stuff like that. Um, honestly, um, I've been wanting to do it for a while. I just couldn't find a cabinet that I liked. Uh, I've been you know, browsing a lot of uh, furniture stores and stuff like that, trying to find the right cabinet. You know, exactly what I wanted. Something that would fit um, in the space that I had. So uh, what I did was I ended up going to this store. I saw one that I liked. Um, I just didn't like the price of it. You know, it was eight, it was eight hundred dollars. Um, just I didn't want to spend eight hundred dollars on a cabinet. I really didn't. You know, I could use that money for games or something. So uh, what I ended up doing was I ended up building a cabinet very similar to it. Um, as you can see in the video, this is the one in the store. Um, there's not a whole lot to it. It's glass. It's wood. It's got some lights on it. You know, stuff like that. Nothing really special. So didn't really think it was worth eight hundred dollars to me. Figured I could build one for a lot cheaper. Uh, so that's what I did. Um, so now I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like. You know, here's my new setup. Hope you enjoy it. All right, guys. Uh, here we are. We're in my main uh, living space, if you will. This is where I pretty much just come to relax, chill out, hang out, play some video games, watch some movies, um, and what have you. So let's get to it. This is the couch from the first video. You know, same as always. Nothing new there. And the ottoman again lifts up. Stores all the controllers. From there, we go into the unit. Um, actually, just finished building this over the weekend. Uh, it's 84 inches uh, long, you know, 24 inches deep. Um, it's pretty much exactly what I saw from the store. Just I figured I could build it for a lot cheaper, save the $800. Uh, it cost me a little bit over 100, about 145. Uh, so you know, not too bad, saving a lot of money in the long run. Uh, and I'm happy with it, so I think it looks great. Um, let me know what you think. We got the Direct TV down here. Open this door. You got the regular Nintendo running and the games. Open this one. You got the Super Nintendo. You got the audio unit, Samsung Dolby Digital 5.1 surround sound uh, with an iPod dock right there. Open the next door. You got the old N64 right next to the old Xbox, the original. And then this next door on the side here pops open to reveal the Nintendo Wii and the slim PS3 right there if you can see it. I know it's a little dark in there. but Also we got the uh, Elite Xbox 360. I upgraded to the Elite after my house got broken into. I had my old 360 stolen along with uh, just, you know, a lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of video games and electronics and whatnot. So slowly but surely I'm rebuilding it, trying to get my, uh, my library back and stuff like that. So. Up here we got the uh, Vizio 55 inch LCD um, 1080, 1080p 120 hertz refresh ratio. Uh, it's a great TV. I love it. Um, got that for Christmas. So, along with the LED accent lighting on the sides here, as well as on the bottom. Um, that's Direct TV showing Ice Age right now on FX. After that, we have the Xbox 360. Takes a little while to load each screen, but not too bad. Got that going on. After that, we have the PS3. I got Transformers loaded up in there right now. Here, a little bit of the surround sound if you can.
We got that rolling on the PS3 for the Blu-ray. After that we have the uh, computer, which is in the other room right now, across the hall here. Just running the cord, an HDMI cord over to it so I can use this as a monitor. From there we got regular Super Mario Brothers on the regular Nintendo Entertainment System. After that, we have the Wii. So I got my retro systems on here. I got uh, the Nintendo 64 hooked up right now. Playing back in the old days. It's always fun to just come back to some regular Mario. And then if you come down and hit this switch, throws it on over to Super Mario World and the SNES. Always another fun game to play. In my uh, personal opinion, I think it's the best game on the Super Nintendo. Uh, just a great replay value, no matter if you're young or old. And from there, then after that, we have the modded Xbox with about 75 burned games on the expanded hard drive on that baby. And really, that's about it. Um, like I said, it only took me about a week and a half to build the cabinet. Um, saw the one at the furniture store, did not like it at all for the price, but it was a great cabinet, so I figured I'd rebuild it. Got a couple shelves up above the TV there, so. Uh, if you like it, you know, rate it, comment it, uh, subscribe if you want to. Uh, if you have any uh, advice on what I can do to make it better, please, you know, feel free to let me know. I'm always open to constructive criticism. Um, post your own setup, you know, I love to watch other setups as well, so. Uh, that's me signing out. Later.